Hey, welcome today. So glad you decided to join us for this time of worship. Hey, let's get ready. Let's rejoice. Let's worship our Lord and Savior today. at a worse time. I lost something and I can't find it anywhere. Wait, maybe you can help. It's a little green bag with a zipper. Do you see it anywhere? It may not seem important, but that bag had all the entry fee money for the competition. Without it, I can't get in. I know, I'll text I know. Hold on a second, I never realized that. I know. I know right. I know. I know right? Let me text her. Okay, while she's looking, I better not let Coach seriously find out about this. She gets worked up pretty easy. I'm gonna have to do some top-notch acting. Let me send a selfie to Ino to see if it's convincing. Oh no. Okay, okay. There she is. I can do this. Hey coach, what's wrong with you? You look like you lost all the money for the texting competition. How did you? Look kid, you're a great texter, but you're not that good of an actor. Excuse me, I won the best performance for our third grade play. Who else got the trophy? Everyone. Right, look, we have to find that money. I know, I know. I know is looking all around her house and I've been searching my room all day. Well, when I lose something, I like to go back and trace my steps. So let's trace your steps. Start from the beginning and tell me everything that happened. Okay. It was a brisk fall morning when my father bellowed, it's a girl. And so I was born and I immediately filled my diaper with- Whoa, I'm gonna stop you right there. That is too far back. And stop trying to earn the trophy. Just tell me what happened today. Right, well I- Oh, there's Ina. Look, it's not going to do us any good getting depressed about all this. After what you told me last week, I went back and read in the Bible about David and this battle that he was going to have to fight. Conditions were bad, but David found his strength in the Lord. So think hard, tell me about your day. Okay, I got up, got ready, went to school. No wait, first I had to clean up all the leaves from the last time you were here. Then I went to school, just a normal day. Maybe you took it out to the leaves. Seriously? What? I never noticed that either. And no, I didn't take it outside. Why would I take a green bag with a zipper out with the leaves? Hold it. Did you say green zipper bag? Yeah. Why? Was it a lime green bag? Maybe plastic? Kind of like latex? Maybe even polycarbonate? About four by six? With glitter all over it? And a zipper? Yeah. Wait, how did you? <gasps> how did you get that? I found it outside your door. I was gonna ask you about it, and then I realized you were upset and I totally forgot. <sighs> yes, thanks coach. How about a finder's fee? How about a banana? <laughs> ah!
Guess Those Nostrils. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Oh, hey there, I'm wrong. Wrong note. And I'm here to tell you about my brand new CD called Emotional, featuring some of my greatest hits. But before we talk about that, I want to share with you today's power verse. It says, But David found strength in the Lord his God. 1 Samuel 36b. Oh yeah, a classic. And now I need all the boys to stand with me on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. But David found strength in the Lord his God. 1 Samuel 36b. Spectacular, boys. You can have a seat now. And now I need all the girls to stand with me and say the power verse on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. But David found strength in the Lord his God. 1 Samuel 36b. Oh, that power verse, oh, it was so good. It was good, it moved me. It moved me to write my brand new smash hit single called Depression. It's all about how we can find strength in God when we're faced with depression. Here's a little sample, let me play it for you. Here it goes. Depression, depression, well, it's just not much fun. I'm the life of the pity party, cause I bum out everyone. <laughs> Did you like it? Well, you can hear that and all the rest of my songs on my brand new CD called Emotional. But right now, I need everybody to stand up and say the power verse on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. But David found strength in the Lord his God. 1 Samuel 36b. Hey, good job, everybody. You can have a seat. Now don't forget to call and order my brand new CD, Emotional, recorded by yours truly, Wrong Note. If you call right now, I'll even send you an autographed copy and a big old poster with my beautiful face on it to hang on your wall so you can tell everybody about the greatest CD ever recorded by Wrong Note. Thank you so much. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you later. Call now, toll free, 1-800-EMOTION. Or send check or money order for $9.99 to P.O. Box 5678, plus $4 shipping and handling. Please talk to your neighbor's doctor before listening to this CD. Side effects may include chronic taco breath, the loss of all Tuesdays from here on out, and a partridge in a pear tree. Batteries not included. Batteries not available in stores. So good luck. What's up, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, yeah, what's up, everybody? It's me, the SKI to the double T L E S. Skittles in the hizzy, and I'm ready to tell you what's up. Today, we are talking about something very serious depression. So, every time somebody asks you what's up, you tell them, I can find strength in the Lord. Depression is when sadness becomes so strong. It's like you can't even do nothing. David felt that way when he lost it all at Ziklag. But you can do the same thing that David did. David found strength in the Lord his God. And you can too. God will give you strength to make it through that depression. He's a good God. So anytime, I mean anytime somebody asks you what's up, you tell them. I can find strength in the Lord. And that right there is what's up. I got a rainbow of flavor and I'm living for my savior. Skittles out, baby. Yoo-hoo! What's up? All right, here we go. Let's review our what's up. All right, girls at home, let me hear you. Here we go, what's up? I can find strength in the Lord. Great job, great job, great job. Okay, here we go. Guys, at home, here, let me hear you. What's up? I can find strength in the Lord. Awesome job. Okay, this is what I need. I need everybody at home. Let me hear you. What's up? I can find strength in the Lord. Everybody did an awesome job this morning. Hey, let's continue our time of worship and I'll be back in just a few minutes with our lesson for today. One, two, three, Jesus is alive. One, two, three, Jesus is alive. He died for you and me, but on day three, Jesus rose again. Jesus is the light. One, two. 
And today, we're going to be talking about how we can find strength and not physical strength. Okay, maybe this isn't the best example of physical strength. We're going to be talking about strength, our spiritual strength that we find in God. All right, so let's go to God's Word first. And we're going to be reading 1 Samuel chapter 30 and verse 6. Same verse that we had for our power verse today. All right, so this is what it reads. David was now in great danger because all his men were very bitter about losing their sons and daughters. And they began to talk of stoning him. But David found strength in the Lord his God. Oh, you see, why did David have to find the strength? Let me tell you the story. Let's, let's see how we got to this point. All right? So David and the men had left their home. They left their, their city. And they had gone somewhere else. Well, while they were over here, their enemy came in from over here and they destroyed their town, their homes, and they took all the women and children back with them. So when David and the men who were over here came back three days later, they found everything destroyed and found that everyone had been taken. Oh, they were filled with so many emotions. They were angry. They were confused. They were sad. They just, they just had a lot just piled on them. And the men... They began to get bitter. And you know what? They started to turn on David. They, they even, in the verse we just read, they were going to stone him. They wanted to kill him. But David, he, he, was, he didn't know what quite to do. So you know what he did? He went to God and he found his strength in his Lord and Savior. All right? So, in today, let's see what that might look like in our lives today. Okay? So, I have this piece of paper, just a regular piece of paper. This is going to represent you and me, all right? Just a normal piece of paper. We're going to set it right up here, all right? Now, this can, this is going to represent all those emotions that were piled on, just like they were on David, that sadness, that anger, that fear, that confusion, all those things piled on, and they come into our lives. And you know what happens? They sit on top of us, and we collapse. We fall under that pressure of all those emotions that have come into our lives. But we can find our strength in God. And how do we do that? Well, we can spend time in prayer, talking to Him each and every day. We can spend time in His Word, 
by reading his, his scripture each and every day. We can find strength through that. We can find strength through worship by singing songs each and every day and just spending time with them. We can also find strength through our godly friends that he puts in our lives. All right? So with these items, with these things, and there's other things we can, we can find God's strength in. All right? Now, same piece of paper, same you and me. But a little bit different, isn't it? It looks like it might have a little bit of strength to it this morning. All right? So, now, same you and me. The only difference is when these emotions come in, look what happens. God's strength allows us to hold up those emotions. We don't collapse under those emotions. How awesome is that? That through God's strength, we don't fall. We don't collapse because He's going to be right there with us each and every time. Whether it's finding His strength through prayer or through His Word or through worship or through our friends, God's strength is going to hold up those pile of emotions that we have in our lives. Hey, this morning, as we go to the Lord in prayer, let's one, let's thank Him for His strength. And two, maybe this morning, maybe you're going through some of those emotions. Let's ask God to give you the strength that you need for today. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. Lord, we ask you, uh, Lord, that for those that, that need your strength, Lord, that you would provide it. Lord, that may they go to you in prayer. Lord, may they read it in your word. Lord, that they would find the strength that they need, uh, Lord, to get through, uh, Lord, the, the, the situations they're, they're in. And Lord, we thank you for the strength that you provide us each and every day. Lord, that we know that you're with us, uh, Lord, through every situation. Lord, we ask that you be with us this week. Lord, I ask that you would protect us, keep us safe, keep us healthy, and bring us back for another time of worship next week. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Hey, I got one more verse I want to read to you. All right? And this is in 1 Chronicles 16, verse 11. And this is what it reads. Search for the Lord and for his strength. Continually seek him. Boys and girls, what this is telling us each and every day, seek the Lord and seek his strength. Hey, hope you had a good day today. We'll see you next week and God bless. 